This is Sam. This one really long. Standing about five foot six. Caucasian male. Five nine, bro. Douchebag. Douchebag. I know I'm a douchebag. He has about the memory of a fruit fly. Forget, That's true. Forgets about 98.99% of the things that you tell him, including his name. The name part is not true. What's Which your name? Right? What's your Samuel. Name? What's your last name? LaRose. Spell it. L-A capital R-O-S-E. I said spell your first name. Bad memory. This is DJ. Sam's arch enemy. Arch. Why? Because they argue like a 80-year-old married couple. Mm-hmm, but we're not married because I don't play like that. Well, yeah, he doesn't Best play boy. like that. Swag. Yeah. Boy. This is Brandon. Boy. King of the awkward people. <laughs> like I said, king of the awkward people who <laughs> so apparently has a knife, school. <laughs> which last time I checked was illegal on campus. And it could potentially be, be a felony. Come at me, bro. <laughs> this is Herbie, the only one with sense in the group. Quiet but deadly. He's laughing because he knows it's true. Quiet but deadly. (laughs) And when all of us are in trouble, we're going to have to have him come bail us out soon because he's going to know the criminal, you know, justice system. Yeah. We're going to let the state's parole officer. And then there's me. Watch out. Because I can't explain me because I don't even know me. Sometimes I do stuff that I don't know. Ain't that right? That's right. That's right. Boy. Boy, I do it. I do. This is edition one. I look up. Edition one. Edition one. Of the AK video. AK video. Mr. Jamil. Jamil. We in this time. We in this beach. Boy. All right, first off, we got my man DJ here. How you doing? Gonna ask him a couple questions. Let him, you know, give us his intake on stuff. So, first of all. We're going to ask you one quick random question. What is your favorite landmark on the Lambeth campus? It has to be Larry Campbell. Larry Campbell. A.K.A. the on-campus tiger. Oh, really? Memphis Lambeth tiger. Everybody knows him. I just named him like two seconds ago. So if you ever see a silver and blue striped tiger, his name is Larry Campbell. Go up and pet him because he's wonderful. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you have any advice on the professors here? The advice for the professors. When you're dealing with Dr. Guth, Smile, because he's a very funny person. Um, if you're a female, don't take classes with Dr. Tubbs, because you will not pay attention, because all you'll do is be like this <sighs> every time he does anything. Um, in ACAD, stay focused, work hard, because it's a very challenging course. Uh, it's a very, very strict set curriculum. You need to stay focused so you can make top-notch grades in there. And, uh, you know, just, just work hard. Yeah. Work hard, play hard. It's a motto. Yellow. All right. Now, tell us, how's the campus life for you here on Lambeth? Campus life is it, developing. You know, living on campus. There's stuff to do through the weekday because people are here. On the weekends, everybody goes home. So, uh... I'm sorry. You have to... No, you're fine. You have to just kind of work on... Having things to do, having the Xbox helps on the weekends, gaming consoles, having friends that are in town also helps, you know. It's just, you have to kind of make your own fun, make your own identity, form who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. So, how is it sharing a house, so to speak, with two other people? Sharing a house with two other people is a lot better than sharing a house with five Um I don't know if that makes any sense, but we all have single rooms where we should have doubles. We don't, which is cool. Uh, I get along with all my dorm mates. They're awesome, funny. We joke around a lot, play games together, sit around, talk about life and movies and pizza and jobs and stuff. You know, it's a, it's it's very enjoyable. So, what, what's your drive for college? Like, why are you at Lambeth? At Lambeth. It's my home away from home because it's not too far, but it's just far enough for me to form who I am as a person individually. You know, I don't have to live at home, so I, I don't have the restrictions that other people might have. But 
at the same time, I'm not too far away to where if I want to go home, it'll be like a four or six hour drive. So. Mm, nice, nice. Well, appreciate you, DJ. Thank you. It was fun. You. It's fun, sir. All right. Next up on the hot seat is Mr. Samuel LaRose. All right, now, Mr. Sam, the first question to you is the same off-topic question I asked Mr. Darrell there. What is your favorite landmark on the Lambeth campus? Well, I like the tiger, but if, if there was any landmark that I'd say was really, really my favorite, it would be the blue emergency pole out in front of Oxen. And why would it be the blue emergency pole? Because... <laughs> That's what keeps us safe. Explain. Well, because if there's any dude that tries to come in the parking lot that we don't know, which there actually have been quite a few of those in the past three months, we can just hit that little button and be like, yo, there's some dude we don't know out here. Can we send some guys in golf carts to, you know, escort them away? And they magically disappear. It's really cool. Hmm. All right. Now, do you have any advice on the professors here? I actually love the professors. They are awesome. They will take time out of your day to say hi to you, and if you don't understand something, they will take time to help you. Hmm. Is that all? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. All right. Well, how's your campus life on the Lambeth campus? My campus life is fantastic, as a matter of fact. It really is. I got really cool dorm roommates, and uh, uh, I got lots of friends and stuff. You know, we chill, we hang out, we make unexpected trips to the hospital and other random places. Y'all weren't there, y'all don't know. Yes, yes. But anyway, that that's what we do. So, what are your reasons behind staying at the Lambeth campus? EMI, EMI, EMI. That's why I chose the Lambeth campus. Because I knew that we had a still developing, yet already amazing EMI program. And that is what I wanted to do with my life. So that is why I chose the Lambeth campus. All right, Sam. Well, I appreciate your time. And it has you been fun. You are very welcome. All right, next we have in the hot seat, Mr. Herbie I seen you go. Team light skin, you know how it is. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, Mr. Herbie, tell us, what is your favorite landmark on the Lambeth campus? Have to be the tiger. You need a real tiger, but we'll do with that uh, statue right quick. You know? All right, all right. You have any advice on the professors here? Yeah, um, Dr. Meglish. If you want a class where you don't have to write, take his class. He'll tell you all about how people got their heads sniped off and SWAT team. He'll tell you all the police stuff you need to know and everything. No notes, just straight action. Mm, that's nice, that's nice. So how has the campus life been for you so far? Uh, it's been good. I don't uh, live on campus or nothing because of financial aid. They're kind of shady. Had over a little over 16000 and uh, and all my uh, money I earned, and when they took all their money out, they only had like probably two thousand left. So they've been kind of shady with the money. But I, I would live on campus if I had the money, though. All right. So what brings you to the Lambeth campus? Um, cause Union doesn't offer criminal justice, so I decided to come here. And um, I live in town, so that's good for me. But if I could go to one college, I'd probably go to Harvard, though. Just say that I'm. That I just went to Harvard. I mean, I could bomb all my classes, but I just say I went there and seemed super smart. <laughs> well, all right, that's all we got for you, Mr. Herbie. I appreciate you. Hey, Herbie, fully loaded. I'm out. <laughs> all right, next we have in the hot seat, Mr. Brandon Stodden. All right, Mr. Brandon, please tell us what is your favorite landmark on the Lambeth campus. I would probably have to say the cathedral. It gives a very nice neoclassic, gothic look to the whole campus. Mm, all right. Do you have any advice on the professors here? It all depends on what. If you like talking, don't take Dr. Goose class. Or if you don't like talking, don't take Dr. Goose class. Um, that's 
about all I can think of. All right, so how is your campus life on the Lambeth campus here? Campus life is pretty interesting. Random shouts sometimes from downstairs and across the hall, people bickering. Um, you never know what to expect, that's all I can say. All right, now, what brings you to the Lambeth campus? Um, it's close to home. My parents aren't getting any younger. But one of these days is just... I don't know. It's just a, it's also a very beautiful campus. Mm. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Well, we appreciate you for your time, Mr. Brandon. Thank you. And we will see you some other time. Mr. Two Chains, Mr. B Five. Two Chains. Mr. Rap Genius himself. B Five, stay live like the Beehive. We are talking to the man behind the camera, aka yes, Marquell Jones. <laughs> Mr. Quail. Birdman. Yeah. Anyway, Mr. Jones, what is your favorite landmark on Lambeth campus? My favorite landmark on Lambeth campus would have to be the football field. Why? Because the gridiron is where legends are made. And besides, when you're mad, throw the football in somebody's hand and light them up. Preach, sir. Preach. Yes. Um, do you have any advice for an incoming student about any professors or advisors on this campus? Background checks. Background check them all, learn their styles, learn the homework, learn how they teach. Because I guarantee you, every single one of these teachers teach a totally different way. Whether it's English, history, math, some kind of science, they all teach the same way. One day you working from start to finish, writing notes. One day you might be watching videos. One teacher might have you talking the whole time. You never know. So... My advice would be learn who your teacher is and learn how they teach before you get to te getting taught. Very insightful. Yes, sir. Tell me about the campus lifestyle that you live. Lord. Campus lifestyle. The campus lifestyle I live is crazy. <laughs> Why? Because it's more drama for your mama than a llama, I'm telling you. Man, we got folks having problems relationship-wise, mental-wise. It's problems every day, but, hey, it's what makes campus life fun. And, you know, I got the best dorm ever. B5, stay alive. If you ever want to have fun, you know where to run. I'm telling you, whether it's playing cards, board games, black ops, we play everything, you know, from games to... Just acting stupid, we have fun, you know? And that's how the campus life is, even on the weekends. We trying to get more folks to stay on the weekends because come Friday, it's ghost town. But hey, everything is everything ain't okay on the up and up with me. Well, Mr. Jones, I appreciate your time. Very insightful interview. Most definitely. And I thank you, sir. Yeah. Troll. Two chains. Four bracelets. Eight kids. 16 child support checks. All right, we are now taking this journey to what is known as the student union. These are the stairs, the enemy to all heavyset people. Why? Because there's three flights of them and they are unforgiving. As you can see, there is Herbie taking the lead, Sam, Brandon, then me and DJ are in the back. Yeah, and besides, I, ain't, and besides I refuse to break my neck while walking down these steps. So I'd rather y'all just take video of the back of Sam's head and Brandon's head and Sam just picked his nose, you nasty. Ugh. And look at this. 40 seconds of walking down steps. Now imagine going up them. I need some water already. We all want to know what's behind this door. Let's try to open it. I know I do. Dude, I don't think we should be back here. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, okay. They've been hiding. The, they've been hiding their coffee from us. Look, it's a secret coffee room. There's the creamer. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's paranormal activity, man. It's paranormal. Don't be playing, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, what's up, guys? How y'all do? <laughs> you kind of took a detour. <laughs> all right, now. <laughs> This is the smoker's haven for all of you people that like to have cigarettes and lung cancer at the age of 20. <sighs> this is the honorary shrub. Honor shrub. It gives you wisdom. This right here is J.R. Hyde Hall, home to the sciences and the maths. So if you got biology, Hyde Hall. Algebra, Hyde Hall. Calculus, Calculus Hyde, Hyde, Hyde Hall. Hall. Chemistry, Hyde Hall. Pimpin. Yeah. High hall pimping. High hall. Two chains. Yeah. Four bracelets. Eight kids. Sixteen child support checks. Bing. Pay him no attention. You know you want to. This is some student. You know we got student. This is student life for us at the moment. It's crazy, isn't it? You won't see one student at University of Tennessee in Knoxville, at Chat, at Martin, at Main Campus. Look how peaceful it is. Look at that tiger. Look at Look this. At Look at this. Over there, over there is the main attraction to the Lambeth campus. You can't see it right now, but we will get back to it later. That is the bluest tiger you will ever see in your life. His name is Larry Madison, the Lambeth Memphis Tiger. Respect. <laughs> and over here we have G.E. Spangler Hall. Spangler. I believe this is told to us that it was going to be dorms. I believe. So... For those of you that are going to be living here, get acquainted because this is what you're going to see mostly. Spanging it. All right, over there is the chapel. That's for you to go and praise whatever deity you believe in. And that's where the Illuminati makes the blood sacrifices. I don't know about all that, but okay. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say anything. All right, now, this right here is an emergency pole. We have about four security guards in the population. One of them's know. name is Jeff. Just yeah. so you know. And you press that when you think suspect people are walking Ooh. around. People going to take your lunch money and stuff like that. You there press that and they will come. Yeah, watch out for the hobos because they get loose at times. All right, we are officially Give coming money, up to Wilder College Union, a.k.a. the Student Union. The main attraction. Home the main to attraction. the height. High Life Expensive Bistro, where every sandwich you get is $5, regardless of size. And we ain't playing. Preach. But for now, let's enjoy this awesome music that they constantly have playing. And they this have... This is our uh, Christmas shrub. As you can clearly tell, it's, it's festive. It's holiday season. Isn't it so festive? So beautiful, just might want to eat one. I'm not really going to eat one. Just kidding about that. You don't want to pick you a Christmas berry? I don't want to get a Christmas berry. I'm good for that. All right. These are automatic doors that are lately not so automatic. Yeah. Press it twice. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of the student union. Inside of the student. And as you can see right here, this is the bistro. The secrets of the bistro. This is the chalkboard that tells you what we have for breakfast and lunch. We're so nice, we even tell you the prices and tell you that there is tax. So don't get it twisted. As you can see today, we had sausage, egg, cheese, biscuits, two seventy-five plus tax. And for lunch, we have pastrami swish on rye. Have fun with that. This is our drink machine. You know, you got to pay for it. Three dollars each. This is where we sit at. You know, when you get hungry. And this right here is every student's favorite safe haven. The snack machine. Why? Because as you can see, we got Pop Tarts, Rice Krispies, Doritos, Lay's for days. We even got Pops. And apparently, yeah, Pudding Cups, Sam's favorite. They $5 yeah. though. No, they're only like $1. They're awesome. And apparently, DJ's hungry, so he's finna, you know, hit up the snack machine. Either that or he's about to play with it. Whichever one. But if he breaks it, y'all didn't hear it from me. All right. Hey there, everybody. My name is Brandon Sign. I'm here to introduce you every to the Lambeth Library. Right now, we are on the first level, which contains all of the reference books for the Lambeth Library. You cannot check these out, but you can go around looking at them, such as DJ is doing right now. Very studious, sir. Thank you. All right, and further off from that, the books you can check out are both upstairs and downstairs. Let's go check out the upstairs first. Go, 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 
children's books and young adult book collection is. There's actually a couple of college books in here. Somewhere. <laughs> I thought so. I guess it's the kids' book section. <laughs> Wide-ranging variety is of everywhere, and there's even more books downstairs. So let's try and go check that out. All right, let's go. Pause it. Don't stop the This is the bottom floor of the Lamb of Library. We have the Archives and Research Room right here. I'm going to work in there myself. Then we have even more books. Yeah, we have books in here. All these books. There's a creepy book around the school. Here you have the old magazines, and to your right, the creepiest magazine on the earth. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> I didn't notice it my first time either. I think it just winked at me. It was just out with his hand. As you can see, someone has attempted to steal maybe a couple trophies. As you can see, the glass is cracked on both sides. You can just reach in there and take whatever you want. It's called take a plaque, way. leave a plaque. Thank you. Welcome to Oxford yeah. Square News, and we are about to enter one of the most well-known dorms in the in University of Memphis Lambus campus. Now, if you mind, if you don't mind, join me entering B5. Be careful now, you could be dangerous. Dangerous style. Looks like there's nobody here, but look at there. We have comfortable seats, comfortable yet sturdy, but at the same time, you can jump on them. See, you can easily take a nap here. And you know, we have 
Yeah. Yeah. Light to your convenience. If you throw up on your shirt, here's an easy solution. You first you put it here, and you use this right here. Don't use this one. This one. No, not this one. This one. And then, after you dry this up, oh, be sure to put soap, because otherwise it won't make a difference. Oh, and the way you close it, you don't close it like that. You, you press this little button, and then you close it. Okay, I'm going to be honest, some people are dumb enough to, you know, yeah. And then you close this, and then you use this one. Don't use this one, because this one's not here. This one's up here. Let's close this. That was for your FYI. How to survive in Austin Square. Oh, and if you happen to try to cook anything with that microwave, this is all you need, okay? And, and if you are on fire, you better trust. I will scrape you. Or fire you, or whatever you say that. Me. We're going upstairs. Let's see what's happening up there. <laughs> Let's go. Be careful. Ninja style, remember. I think there's a bathroom in here. Here it is. Your daily utensils. If you need to use anything, you use this, okay? And if you start to get a little funky, you got a shower. And sandals that come with it. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get out of here because you know, people might get mad. Look what we got here. A bed. Just for you to lay down. I mean, oh, oh. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. This is the real deal. You better just, you know what? Just forget, burn your other bed. Because this is the bed you need to stay in. And then right here, we got two residents from B5 playing Xbox. How you doing? Some basketball game I don't know the name of. It's called 2K, right? And 2K. So. Sway, sway. Watch me ball right here. Look at DJ PJ balling. Oh, he dropped the ball, so. Frisbee. <laughs> Frisbee. <laughs> anyway. Oh, reaching foul, Ray. He dropped the ball. Okay, my bad, my bad. And, uh, this is basically it, folks. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. You get your own personal closet. So if you have siblings at your other place, this is where you can forget all the nightmares. Well, I don't know if DJPG will let us use it, but here's a um, closet and top quality security for door handles. Don't worry, nobody's gonna steal your stuff. More like nobody might want, probably nobody want might want your stuff. So, excuse for the story, you know. Remember, I'm Mexican. So, this is a uh, Mr. Larry Campbell. Some people call him Gilbert. Some people just call him the Lamb of Tiger. He's a gift from the main campus. <laughs> As you can see, some of our students are actively enjoying Mr. Campbell right here. This is my tiger. You can't have him. As you can tell, it's his tiger. We can't have him. Being brave and courageous. He was a gift to our campus from the main campus, University of Memphis, located in Memphis, Tennessee. 901 area code. Or a zip code or whatever. Yeah, it's an area code because it's a phone number, right? Yeah, yeah it's an area code. Uh, for a hundred years of being in business, they gave us, of true blue. there's 99 on the main campus, and this is the hundredth tiger. One. One. Oh. Oh. One. Oh. Oh. If you look right here, it has a little plaque where you can read stuff that I'm not going to read to you. 1952, yes. that's the year it all began. 1952, the year of the true blue. Ain't that right? The year of the true blue. True blue. B L U E, you know what it be? Get out the tiger's mouth, man. He ain't brushed his teeth in a while, bro. Maybe you should take care of that for him. Probably should. <sighs> Did he just jump down like a ninja? This 
is the Lambeth Campus video of awesomeness. Swerve. 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 Swag. I do. I do. True blue. Yeah. As you can see, this is the rare Brazilian man squirrel located only in West Tennessee, exclusively Jackson, Tennessee, on the Lambeth campus. Oh. He's indigenous to trees with no leaves and only wears short sleeve shirts and short sleeve shorts <laughs> in the what are you winter. Saying about me, DJ? You better be careful, bro. He I could. Know. He could potentially fall if he's not careful. Look at that rare Brazilian man squirrel strength. From the way that he's taking this, he has a better chance of dying. You have a better chance of having a Look at the strength in his arms. This what? rare Brazilian man squirrel. What you call me? <laughs> You're a rare Brazilian man rare squirrel. Rare Brazilian man squirrel? <laughs> you just call me a squirrel? Alright, I'm going to show you a squirrel. Okay, I'm backing up. I think he's more like a Brazilian Spider-Man with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs>